Okay, so in this video, I wanna show you how to join two pieces of clay together. Uh, the tools that you're going to need are your vinegar, a paintbrush, if you could grab one of the green or black handled paintbrushes from next to the sink, and then uh, your rib that has the serrated teeth for scoring, and then of course the two pieces that you're going to be attaching. So here I have just a small coil pot and I was going to attach a handle to it, make a little teacup. So I've rolled out a coil here for the handle and I'm going to tap both sides of that handle down so that I have quite a bit of surface area, which is required to attach two pieces together. So you wanna have as much surface area as you can that will make sure that that joint is really strong. So I'll kind of fit this where I want it to go. I like to use a needle tool to trace around where I'm gonna to need to score. In this case, at the base of both of these handles. Like this. I'll then be using my serrated toothed rib and I'm going to scratch in the surface in at least three different directions. So vertically, horizontally, and diagonally in both areas where I want those pieces to be attached. So they'll look like this. I'm then gonna score the part of my handle that's gonna be attached, again, in at least three different directions, vertical, horizontal, and diagonal. I'll carefully open up that vinegar container and you really just need a brush full and I'm going to add it to my pinch pot here. I'm going to go ahead and close that vinegar up so that it doesn't spill and I'm ready to attach. When I attach, I'm going to hold the piece at the base here and I'm going to add pressure on the inside of the piece. At this point, I'm going to push them together, and as I'm pushing, I turn it back and forth so that that grip, that Velcro that you've essentially created out of the scoring that you did, will create a much stronger bond. And I'll do that down below as well. Notice how I'm holding the inside of the piece to make it secure. I'm gonna add pressure, and I'm really gonna shake and squeeze that as I'm applying. So I'm not necessarily done here. I don't think that this bond is as strong as it could be. So the next thing that I wanna do after scoring and adding vinegar is to seam these two pieces together to make it look like they were always one piece of clay. So again, I think the best tools that we have are our hands. So I'm gonna start with those and I'm adding pressure and making that quite a bit smoother. You can see the difference on the bottom from the top there. And I'll do that and I'll four sides, actually not four sides, there are more than four sides here. But I'll do that all the way around so that I'm seaming those two pieces of clay together, strengthening that bond. If there are some tight spots where you can't necessarily get in, two tools that make that easier for you are your modeling tools. So you can seam those together or that tool that has the two rubber ends those are really nice tools for seaming as well so you just want to have some really great craftsmanship remove any dents any extra clay that's there and clean all that up the way that you want it if you liked the way that it looked where it was attached if you like the way that it looked when it was separated, you can always impress those lines back in and smooth those out while still having a stronger bond. 